Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel. Now if you're watching this you might be wondering what is this and I don't remember subscribing to this channel. Well don't worry because if you're one of my quite long time subscribers it will make sense when I explain it. So basically I, I guess you could say abandoned this channel a very long time ago. Not purposely but it just kind of happened because this wasn't my main channel. It's kind of something I do on the side. But recently I've been getting strong cravings and feelings for doing more app because it is something I neglect a lot which I don't want to be doing because it does really help me so I decided it's time to restart it and I'll explain a little bit more in more detail as we go on but I also decided to change the name of this channel because if you've been here a long time you might remember the original name CSL Designs Arts and Crafts and I just wasn't feeling that because I kind of want this to be something separate and not related to my main channel and my business that I already do. And I also just want it to be more casual and not something that's too serious. So basically I found a new purpose for this channel. I already kind of had it so I thought I might as well use this instead of just starting something completely new. And it's just because I really need to do more art because I basically neglect it so much pretty much almost don't do any at all because I always have something else I can do or need to do but I really want to take more time to do it because it really is something that first of all I enjoy but also that really helps me which is also another point of this channel because I do struggle a lot with mental health things like depression anxiety and I think there's also a lot of other things going on but I basically first of all I will help me with that obviously I hope but I know it does help me but also I was kind of thinking sharing the journey would maybe help others and it could kind of be a little bit of a place for mental health issues and improvement hopefully as well. So I kind of just thought I would share the journey which is also why I thought the perfect way to start out would be to just do some colouring in in a colouring book, an adult colouring book. So as you maybe saw in the intro I do have quite a few and again I kind of bought them over the years but I just don't really use them it's very little so I do want to do that more obviously which is then the point of this channel as well to hopefully incentivize me more but also I definitely do find that just coloring in adult coloring books is quite therapeutic for me so I need to do it more in order to help me as well and it's something I enjoy and I do know that's also how a lot of other people feel obviously that's often what they're used for but I then ended up deciding on this Celtic style colouring book which I've had for a very long time. I haven't coloured anything into this one at all previously so I can't, I took a while to kind of decide what book to work with but I decided on this one because I kind of thought it's something a little bit different than I've done before and it's got all these Celtic designs and because it's a lot of this kind of knot work and it kind of over and under I kind of thought it might be interesting and fun to just play around with shadows and colours that way a little bit but also something where I didn't really have to think too much but just kind of do if that makes any sense so anyway I ended up choosing the image that I was going to colour in and then I was going to use my colouring pencils which is what I prefer in these colouring books but this is where I ran into a bit of a problem because I have two tins of two large tins of really nice colouring pencils from Faber-Castell. One is the regular ones but then one is watercolour. Obviously I wasn't going to use the watercolour ones but I have these two tins that I tend to use. Really those are the colouring pencils that I use the most when I do use them and I was pretty sure I knew roughly where they were going to be. I didn't expect it to be a problem anyway. Now the thing is we've moved not that long ago and not everything is unpacked yet because we're still missing some furniture to kind of put things in so there's still a few things in boxes because there's no point in unpacking it obviously if I haven't got the furniture to put it in so but I thought I knew where the colouring pencils were in those boxes and it turns out they were not so I started getting a little bit um, where the heck are they <laughs> and obviously I then asked my husband if he maybe had seen them anywhere because he knows what the tins are um, and he hadn't either and he didn't really know where they would be. So instead of being able to use them like I planned, I ended up having to kind of search through my stash of art materials and I found some kind of sets, other sets of colouring pencils. Um, some really old ones that I think I originally got when I went to uni just to have something. Um, I don't actually think I ever really used them much 
but I had them so I thought I'll give them a go see what they're like and then I'm just gonna have to end up using those so I did a bit of swatching as you can maybe just tell and to say the least I wasn't too impressed with really any of them so that made me miss my other ones even more and get more worried about where they actually were but anyway I thought it's what I have right now at hand so let's just crack on and I just have to use what I have so I had I think it was about four sets or something like that of different ones and overall to be honest they were all pretty crap but I kind of thought I've just got to work with them somehow and it's not really about that it's just about the process of doing this and hopefully enjoying it and it helping me a little bit at the time and the funny thing is the set that I expected the least from was actually the set that I ended up using the most because they were the best out of them I thought and they were also of course the set with the least colors now I'm not entirely sure where this set is from but I think I think, if I'm not mistaken, that originally these are from a shop in Denmark called Sister Negrain. If you're Danish, you'll probably be familiar with that. If you're not Danish, that won't make any sense to you. But I think that's where they're from, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I kind of just cracked on with those mainly. And as you can tell, I did really focus on just doing the kind of shadowy technique, I guess, or look to where all these it's not really obviously a knot I think the yellow part is the tongue technically but um where it crosses over under over under I just kind of work with that and just added the darkness where it would go under so to kind of create that shadowy effect and I basically just did that same thing throughout the whole piece with all the different colors and sections that I worked with which was actually kind of nice because I didn't really have to think too much about it I kind of knew what I needed to do the whole way. It was just here and there picking the colors, which again, because of the coloring pencils that I was using, I didn't have that much choice in that either. <laughs> but in spite of all that, I'm actually okay happy with how this piece turned out. Now, of course, there's imperfections and I'm not entirely happy with bits here and there, partly because again, the coloring pencils are not the best quality and there were places where it quite started ripping up the paper now, yes, I am pretty heavy handed, but also where I felt like I had to press hard to get the colour out and kind of get the colour to be the colour it's supposed to be. I had to go over certain places a lot and also add a lot of pressure. And the paper in the book is decent and all right and it's pretty similar to all of my other colouring books. It's not bad or anything, but I just think having to do those things with the colouring pencils because of the colouring pencils it wasn't the best for the paper but anyway I kind of tried to make it work the best I could so it was almost like not being able to find my nice coloring pencils made this a bit of a challenge so and it definitely was but anyway sometimes you gotta just work with what you got and like I said the purpose of this in the first place wasn't to create a masterpiece or anything it was really for the mindfulness and hopefully the positive effect and result I could get out of it and to be honest, it worked with that exact intention because I did this over a few days and it was where I was having a bit of a rough time, but it did really help me and kind of distract me from, you know, all the things that your brain does in the not so nice times. But obviously it didn't fix everything, but it just made me feel a bit better in this situation and while I was doing this because it just kind of takes your brain away a little bit here and there. And makes you focus on something else and a bit repetitive and something enjoyable which again leads back to the purpose of this channel so the goals for this channel i don't obviously i have things and thoughts for the future who doesn't but i don't have specific goals in the sense of i want to create this or within so and so long i want it to become this like i mentioned it's just really for mental health issues for myself obviously if it could help anyone else that's brilliant but the point is to obviously kind of not force myself but give myself an excuse or reason or something like that to do more at but try and keep it casual um, as much as possible and also just to start having fun with art again because I think it's something that's lacking so much in my life I really need to do that for instance um, I've actually got already the next video that's going to be out is going to be a scroll of books unboxing so that is something that is the first time I've ever tried one. I've been curious about that box for a while. So it's going to be a video of me just kind of trying it for the first time and playing around with it. But again, also there's not going to be a certain thing that I'm going to be doing or 
style that I'm going to be doing and I'm not going to stick to only doing one thing or another. I really want to kind of just play around with art which is also why I'm not going to have a set schedule on this channel. I'm kind of just going to post videos whenever I guess you could say I feel like it. Hopefully it's going to be fairly regular because hopefully I'm going to have a regular piece of my life again. Um, but like I said, there's going to be no set schedule, at least for now, because I want to keep this casual and I don't want this to become an extra burden that's obviously not going to help with my mental health. So that would kind of defeat the purpose. So yeah, hopefully this is just going to be a place to have fun with art and just kind of experiment with different things like I used to and I used to have art a much bigger part of my life and I definitely need to get that back. Now obviously when I say that I do mean things like drawing, painting and other things like that because I know there's obviously so many types of art and almost anything can be an art style or art form. Like for instance, on my main channel where I make jewellery, that's also art in itself but I mean, obviously, on here, things like drawing, painting, and who knows what else, really. <laughs> oh, and another thing, I do actually also plan slash hope to get into digital um, art or painting, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just something I've seen more over the years, more recent years, I've seen others, and it looks very fascinating and interesting. And I have done things before on that, but not properly, and it's something I really would love to get into more. Um, not instead of actual, you know, real life art or anything, but just as well as because I'm definitely intrigued by that whole process of doing the digital art as well. So hopefully that would mean probably something like an iPad and then an Apple Pencil probably. Um, and speaking of which, hopefully a new one is coming out soon. So who knows, it might be sooner rather than later. And again, that'll be something pretty new to me and something to play around with and experiment with. But anyway, back to the colouring page. I wasn't originally planning on doing anything but colouring in the main image, but once I'd done that, I kind of felt like it was lacking something a bit and it needed a bit of a background. So I ended up taking my chalk pastels, which I'm pretty sure I've not really never used before, and just kind of throwing something in there and see what happens. So I ended up just doing a bit of an abstract background and I think it works all right. So this is what the final image looks like, the first page in this specific colouring book, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out after all. Oh yeah, and just a note here at the end, turns out about halfway through colouring this in, we found my colour pencils. It turns out one of the boxes my husband was responsible for unpacking, he'd left them in there and put the box in the loft. So he had to go back in the loft and basically get them out once we figured out where they were. So that was wonderful, but I ended up just sticking with the colour pencils I was already using. But at least I'm just glad to have them back and I know where they are. But anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.